Strange fascination fascinating me. Our changes are taking the pace I'm going through. Ch -ch 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 changes turn and face the strange ch -ch changes. Don't want to be a richer man. Ch -ch 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 this is where he was brought up, wasn't he? Brixton, yeah, exactly. Yeah? That's, so. This is it. This is where he was brought up. So this is the place to come. As a, as a young teenager, David Bowie lived just around the corner from me in Beckenham. And um, so I would catch glimpses of this strange figure walking down the high street with his wife and a little baby in a pushchair. You know, he'd walk in a, a dress and, you know, you'd have all the suburban housewives clucking and crossing the street. and. For me, it was just like, oh my God, what is this? You know, I couldn't believe my eyes. And um, yeah, he just opened my eyes to a whole new world. He just changed from one performer to another performer. Now, that's what we, I and we remember. As Italian born here, he started wearing Armani. And in the early 80s, I mean, you just worked hard on a Saturday job one day a week to save for four weeks to buy one jumper because David Bowen was wearing it, or a suit or a shirt. He was it. When I was 15 up in Newcastle, I was going out with this girl and she was mad on this singer, uh, this performer. And when I saw the pictures of him, I thought, oh, what on earth is this strange looking fella? What on earth is this about? But it was a case of, she got the tickets, we went to the concert in Newcastle City Hall. And at 15, I was just blown away by him. He was uh, Ziggy Stardust, Aladdin Sane, and I was just mesmerized. And it was just a case of then, I just fell in love with him basically, his music and his style. Uh, as I've got older, and obviously I've had, me, had a family, my daughter, and then she's been influenced as well and she's picked it up as it's, as it's gone along. Just growing up with that music and um, I just, th that interest in it from like best of albums that you've had in the car or whatever, just, you know, gone my own way and found out more about him. And, you know, gone to exhibitions and read all his books and, you know, all his albums and everything. We did the Victoria and Albert exhibition a couple of years ago. The David Bowie is. Yeah. And there's there's one part and he's actually in concert in Newcastle and it's sort of big up on the screen. <laughs> you and might I was have been sat there. And I was sat watching and I says, Rosie, I'm just there to the left in the crowd. <laughs> and she's saying, shut up, will you shut up? <laughs> I've still got his ticket from the last one that you saw in the 90s, I yeah, think. Yeah, uh, oh. main, main Road when we went to Main Road. In That's Manchester, the closest I'll get. And Milton Keynes. So yeah, we just um, the the thing that influenced me and brought me up is through my teenage years and everything. Is now it's passed on to her and it's brought her up. And it just it's just one of those things. Be yourself. And that's what David Bowie was singing about. Be yourself. Does my what anybody else thinks? You just get up in the morning and put on what you want to wear and go out and do what you want to do as long as it's not breaking the law. <laughs> Should you change it? Pretty soon now you're gonna get older. Time may change me, but I can't trace time. I said the time may change me, but I can't trace time. Thank you.